In the heart of Tokyo, an old artist named Hiroshi had a secret passion for creating martial arts characters. He worked tirelessly in his small studio, sketching and painting until the early hours of the morning. One day, he received a call from an American video game company called Midway Games. They were looking for a new artist to design characters for their upcoming fighting game, Mortal Kombat. Hiroshi jumped at the opportunity and flew to Chicago to meet the team at Midway Games. He was introduced to Ed Boon and John Tobias, the creators of Mortal Kombat. Together, they brainstormed ideas for the characters, drawing inspiration from martial arts movies and Japanese mythology. Hiroshi's unique artistic style and attention to detail impressed the team, and they quickly began working on the character designs. As the game evolved, so did the characters. Hiroshi worked tirelessly to create intricate backstories and movesets for each fighter. He drew inspiration from his own experiences as a martial artist, adding a personal touch to each character. From the iconic ninja duo Scorpion and Sub-Zero, to the thunder god Raiden and the shape-shifting Shang Tsung, each character had a unique personality and design. When Mortal Kombat was released, it caused a stir in the gaming industry. The game's graphic violence and gory finishing moves drew criticism from parents and politicians. The controversy only added to the game's popularity, and Mortal Kombat became a cultural phenomenon. Hiroshi continued to work on the game, creating new characters and refining the existing ones. Today, Mortal Kombat is still one of the most popular fighting game franchises in the world. Hiroshi's character designs have become iconic, recognized by gamers and non-gamers alike. The game has inspired countless spin-offs, merchandise, and even a feature film. Hiroshi remains humble about his contribution to the game, but his legacy will live on through the art of Mortal Kombat.